Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the forex market. So today we could update our view on the Great British Pound because it finally has reached the predefined level, 1.23. And if you remember, this is uh, the first level that we have decided to keep an eye on because potentially it is suitable for the Joe Napoli brand body sell. We have great thrust down, a few closing above the 3 by 3 it's a bit more closing, 4 close above the 3 by 3 before market has reached it. But in general, its overall nature remains the same, so brand body sell. And potentially, it might trigger the pullback somewhere in an area of 2150. The major uh, tricky moment here is that performance of the other markets that makes possible of the further upward continuation. In other words speaking, it might happen that we will, we will not get brand body precisely at this level. So we have to be careful. And as we said, last uh, in the last report in euro currency was the same story so that although we have the setup in place and in the gold market as well we uh, need to follow the clear reversal patterns once we will get it on intraday charts until we'll not get the pattern it is a bit risky to take the position trying to anticipate it because it might be not, not it might not be formed so if we'll take a look on the we'll take a look at the 10 year yield you could see that the downward action on interest rates is continuing which makes some bearish impact on the dollar and support of uh, some upside action on its rivals. So in the forex market, in gold, stocks, as you can see, also is turning up. All this stuff is on the ground for this retracement on the interest rates. And since this retracement is still underway, it means that on the forex market, as in the euro currency, as we have considered recently, if you remember this, ABCD action and actually market perfectly has shown upward continuation as we suggested. Uh, so despite that we have some resistance and so on. So we're still watching for this level. Um, as on the Great British Pound, despite that it stands right there, it might happen that it could climb slightly higher before downside reaction starts. Uh, despite that, here as we could see almost perfect picture of the brand body cell. On the 4-hour time frame chart, take a look, if still downside action starts right from here, the target will be around 2140. This is 618 support, it's minimum target of the brand body cell. Also, it is interesting that, take a look, these blue lines, that market has completed the ABCD target. So, in fact, we have not just a single FIB level, but agreement. Agreement resistance on the daily chart, which is actually good background for possible action down. Divergence that we discussed here has been completed. This market moved above the top. Uh, and uh, the one thing that it's worth to mention here is, uh, well, in relation to the possible a bit slightly higher action, we could get this type of the ABCD as on the euro currency. So not the initial one is blue lines, but with these dot lines, so we could get a slightly higher target if in market indeed will keep going higher. That's why in the current situation, uh, we call to wait for clear patterns on the lower time frame to control and being on the appearing of the bearish patterns and then act correspondingly once we will get it on the hourly chart let's take a look particular speaking market has completed the butterfly so um, once here market will start forming here minor patterns take a look maybe minor hand and shoulders will be formed maybe something else will be formed so in this case you could try to take the short with the nearest ending stops if nothing will be formed the market will just keep going higher in this case well, it's, it would be better to sit on the hands and wait when this action will uh, will be over, uh, because overall background currently is not really uh, contradict to possible upward action. So in general, it's friendly for some deeper, stronger upward retracement. So that's what we have currently on the euro on, on the Great British Pound and mostly on the euro currency. We have the same. So just watch for the level, watch for the patterns. It's particularly speaking, this butterfly also you could use. But uh, the point of the reversal, it would be better to get some clear reversal pattern, as I said. So um, on the euro currency, this market is also stumbling around this area. And uh, actually, we're watching for the same bread by the sell right at this level. 
So here's absolutely the same story. Um, both markets have completed these initial ABCD upside patterns in the OPs, this ABC bottom, as a euro currency, as a Great British Pound. So currently, we need also watch for patterns. So once something will be formed, it is possible trying to make an attempt to take the short position for the possible retracement on 618 level. Uh, that's what we have currently on both these currencies, on Euro and British Pound. And let's see uh, how it will turn.